Today we are once again sitting in the game room of Bill Tenay. With me today are Miss Faye Rodriguez. Hey guys, we miss y'all. And we have Miss Simeon Gore who is filling Hi. in for summer. Guess where summer's at? What? School. School, wow. School starts in our public mm. system in just nine days. Wow. Wow. Some of we miss you, but have fun. <laughs> Welcome to Friendship Kids Network. In our lesson today, Jesus calmed a storm. Now his disciples were in the boat with Jesus, but they were very scared. Miss Faye, has there ever been a time that you were really in a bad storm? Yes. And I remember when I was young. Yes. And I remember it, I just hear the thundering, the wind, the lightning, you know, guys. And you know, we're all scared of that stuff sometimes. <laughs> yes. And I went and ran and hid and hid in a closet. Because <laughs> I was scared, y'all. Yes. All right. Then it calmed down. And I was praying, too. <laughs> praying, yes. Pray. They come fast, don't yes, they? Yes, yes. All right, Miss Sam, how about you? Well, um, I'm thinking about a time back probably before the about younger than the girls are right now when I was at my grandmother's house and I grew up in Jackson Mississippi but she lived on the Gulf Coast mm. so they had hurricanes mm. Mm. and I was in my first hurricane wow. at her house so I was away from my family and it was Hurricane Bob and um, so it was a little scary for me it was a little more exciting because my friends had probably not all been in a hurricane before, <laughs> but uh, it was very stormy and we saw the wind blowing and um, and outside we could see pop sparks of um, electricity Ooh. when the when the um, wires were. That is scary. Blowing. It was kind of scary. Yeah. That would be scary. I remember with the lightning popping a lot of times. I'd be scared, uh, but as a Boy Scout, they told you to count to five. And if you see the lightning, yeah. then you would see how far away mm -hmm. it is. And so, but when the, you see lightning and thunder, you know you're in trouble. So, uh, I, that was a little boy that was scary. Now, also, when you were a child, when was a time that you were really afraid, uh, Miss Faye? And y'all, you know, I'm older than these people, so it's going to take me a while to think back. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's times like I was, when I was really little, I was scared of the dark. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys are, but you know, mm -hmm. I just, you, and you see shadows and stuff, and it's nighttime and it's scary. Mm -hmm. I prayed to them. Oh, that's you know. good. All right, how about you, Miss Sydney? <laughs> well, actually, that's exactly what I was going to say. I can remember being very afraid of the dark as a child. But, it, um, you know, being a child is not the only time we're afraid. We're afraid all through exactly. our life. If you look at what's going on in our world right now, yes. there's a lot of adults yes, that are afraid. Is. So it wasn't just as a kid. I remember when I was 16 and I was babysitting mm -hmm. on a New Year's Eve night. Mm -hmm. okay. And I was babysitting for a family that um, they, were, they had a lot of money and so they lived in this gigantic house, kind of out in the middle of nowhere and it was a beautiful home. It had glass windows everywhere and the dog was running from window to window, barking, barking, barking. Mm -hmm. And I was terrified. I thought that there was someone outside the house and that this dog was letting me know there was someone outside the house. And so I ended up calling my father because I didn't know what else to do. And he came over to the house and kind of looked around and said everything was okay. And then he stayed with me the rest of the time. But what we figured out was it was fireworks oh. that we could not hear but the dog could, and the dog was terrified. So even animals get scared yes, too. They get scared. Mm. <laughs> I remember a lot of times I would get scared and uh, being in the dark, I, I think that would mm -hmm. probably be very frightening and Lord help me sometimes, yes. Uh, also in our story, our disciples were very, very afraid. Now where was Jesus at while this was going on and they were so afraid, Miss Faye? He was in the boat. He was in the boat. With them. Now the, the problem with them was he was asleep. And they thought Jesus didn't care that they were about to die. Mm -hmm. Now, Jesus had spent way too much time and effort in them to let them die. They should have realized that. But uh, they're like us. They're human, aren't they? But when so, you're scared. Uh, when you're scared. Uh, he was close by just like he is with all of us. So mm -hmm. whenever we're afraid, guess what? Jesus is near us. Yes. Jesus is always close yeah. by. I hope everything is going well for you and your family today and this week. Uh, I know some of you are getting ready for school, but 
I keep asking you, and I know you're doing a good job of this, is helping your parents through these hard times. Our story point today is Jesus calmed a storm to show the disciples that he is God. Now, a big picture question for today is, why did Jesus perform miracles? Now, the next four or five weeks, we're going to be talking about the miracles of Jesus. And I like that when he yeah. does these fabulous miracles. Uh, after he did one, I would believe he's the Son of God. But the disciples took a lot of them, I think, to find that out. Jesus performed miracles to glorify God, to show that he is the Son of God, and to show that he cares for his people. Now, Miss Faye right now is going to give us an introduction to our story. Okay. All right, y'all. This story is basically is talking about Jesus had been teaching. He was out teaching. It was a long day. He was tired. He was just really worn out. Mm -hmm. And so they get on the boat, and they're going to go over. See, Galilee. They're going to mm -hmm. go over. Okay, so they're, you know. And you got to remember something. Some of the disciples were fishermen. So they were used to being in boats and dealing with weather and all this stuff. So they're going across, and all of a sudden, the storm comes up. Mm -hmm. It's thundering and lightning, and the water is just going over everybody. And it's like, shh. Mm -hmm. It's awful. Anyway. And like, like Miss Faye said, these fishermen were used to storms. Yeah, yeah. This must have really yeah. been a bad it storm. It had to be right. like a tsunami. You yeah. know, really. Like the water's like in your boat over your head, guys. Mm -hmm. And they're just freaking out. They're, you know, and, and Jesus is laying there in the boat. And he's just quietly, he's quiet, sleeping. Mm -hmm. And this is chaos is going on. Yeah. And they go and they shake him and they say, Jesus, he is. Wake up! Help us! Now, they really said, don't you care? We're about they to did. die. They I did would say. like to think they I wouldn't have say. said that. Yeah. But I know in my life, sometimes I feel like, does Jesus care? I'm going right. through all of these right. problems. Right. Doesn't he care that I'm yes. suffering? And yeah. the answer is, you know it's yes. Right. That's right. And he, you know, when he gets up, you know, and he just speaks to the wind. He speaks to it, and it just calms. Mm -hmm. You know, that is... That's, that's amazing when we go through things and we're scared and we and Jesus just touches us and we pray to him and he can just calm our fears, not just with a bad storm, but storms right. in our lives right. that Christ has. Thinking back in that boat, I would like for God to take me back in time. I would like to see Peter's face <laughs> when he calmed the storm. Peter's so expressive. I'm, yeah. I, I, yeah. I'm just or sure. some of the other ones, you yeah, know. But especially Peter, he's yeah. doing that. In our story today, there are three major questions that were asked in the story. And the first one is, Jesus, do you care? And sometimes we ask that question, Jesus, do you care? The second question that was asked, uh, Jesus asked his question to the disciples, why are you so afraid? And sometimes I wonder, uh, in my family, uh, my wife does the worrying for both of us, and she's always <laughs> fearful of everything, and I'm always having, <laughs> thank goodness, tell her that that was false alarm. But, but uh, uh, why are you so afraid was the second question. And the third one is, when the disciples finally saw that what Jesus had done, they said, who is this man mm -hmm. that the seas even obey him? That's right. Now, right now, we're going to have Laura and Sarah to read us our story. And after that, they're going to ask us some questions to make sure you were listening to our story. Jesus calmed a storm. Matthew 8, Mark 4, Luke 8. Jesus spent all day che teaching crowds of people near the Sea of Galilee. That evening, Jesus walked across over to the other side of the sea. So Jesus and his disciples left the crowd. They got into a boat and began sailing. Some of the people from the crowd followed in their own boats. While Jesus and his disciples traveled, Jesus fell asleep on a cushion at the back of the boat. All of a sudden, a storm came. The wind was strong, and the waves crashed into the boat. Water was coming into the boat, and the disciples were afraid. Many of the disciples were fishermen. They had survived storms at sea before. But this storm was different. It was so strong. If the water kept coming in the boat, the boat would sink. Surely they would all drown. The disciples looked 
to Jesus for help, but Jesus was still fast asleep at the back of the boat. He didn't seem to even notice the storm. Did Jesus care they were about to sink into the sea? The disciples woke up Jesus. Lord, save us, they said. We are going to die. Jesus opened his eyes and saw that his friends were afraid. He got up and spoke to the wind. Then Jesus said to the sea, Silent, be still. At the sound of Jesus' voice, the wind stopped blowing and the waves stopped crashing. Everything was calm. The disciples were safe. Jesus looked at his disciples and asked, Why are you afraid? Do you still have no faith? Did the disciples not trust Jesus to take care of them? The disciples were amazed. Who is this man? They asked each other. Even the wind and the waves obey him. Christ Connection Jesus' disciples knew Jesus was a good man and a good teacher. But when Jesus calmed the wind and the waves, he showed his disciples that he, he, he is also God. God rules the sea and stills its waters. Okay, now we're going to ask you some questions. What was Jesus doing when the storm began? Sleeping. What were the disciples' reaction when the storm arose? They woke Jesus and said, Teacher, don't you care we are going to die? What did Jesus do when he got up? He told the wind and waves to be still. What did Jesus say to his disciples after calming the storm? Why are you afraid? Do you still have no faith? All right. Thank you, Laura and Sarah, for that, those questions and answers. Thank you so much. Sometimes we have life where it's stormy. Life can be real stormy, can it? Mm -hmm. Don't you wish our life was so easy? I thought when I became a Christian that it would be smooth sailing. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, it, it, it seemed like it's, it's the opposite, but thank goodness we have an anchor that we can hang Amen. on to on, on these seas there. All right, the boat was swamped. Sometimes our boat is swamped, isn't it? Wow. You're thinking, Lord, I can't, I can't take any more. Uh, uh, there's a verse in the Bible that says the Lord will not give us more than mm -hmm. we can bear. I'm thinking, Lord, I'm at that point. Yeah. All right, I can't yeah. take anything else. And uh, we all have been there. But right now I want to go through our questions that we said we're going to ask. <laughs> Simeon, what was the first question? The first question was, Jesus, do you care? Wow. Mm -hmm. How many times do we say that? Mm -hmm. Isn't that silly? We know Jesus cares about us, but yeah. sometimes when you're hurting, you just, yeah. uh, you, you're very human and you just feel like, Jesus, I thought I was your special one. Do you ever feel that? Jesus, I'm your special. Why mm -hmm. is this happening to me? This should happen to somebody else. That, uh, but if we concentrate and think back when we're in the midst of something, it's hard to see that. But if you stop and think, he died on a cross yeah. right, for us. For us. If he didn't care for us, mm -hmm. he wouldn't have gone through all that. Yeah. You know, right. so when you start going back and thinking about that, even when you're in the midst of that storm, right. mm -hmm. you know, it kind of gives you a little bit of a, a little bit of a peace to know, you know, yeah. we don't understand things, but we know you're in control. That's right. So the answer to that question is Jesus does care about us, and I'm gonna add one word, Jesus always mm -hmm. cares yes. about yes. us. All right, Simeon, what was question number two? The second question was, why are you so afraid? Wow. That was a good question Jesus asked the disciples. I'm sure Jesus asks us that or thinks this, that mm. why are you so afraid? You've seen me work these things in your life, all of this, and now you question me now? I thought, I can imagine as parents, it hurts us when our kids don't trust us. Right. Like, I have invested so much in you, you think I would go astray right now, but... Uh, the answer is that uh, we need more faith, don't we? Yes. We need more faith. Do you ever have enough faith? Mm. Sometimes yes, most of the times no. We try. Yeah. We try. I mean, you know, the Bible says if you have the faith of a mustard seed, mustard seed. a mustard seed is tiny. Mm -hmm. right. 
you know, just think about that tiny. And if that must, if you had that much faith, he said you can move mountains. Right. I mean, that's powerful. Now, the thing about faith is, it's not that I've got faith that God's going to take care of everything, which I know he will. It's just that I know that God can take care of everything. Right. He may choose not to, right. but I have the faith that he could do it. Yes. We and sometimes so, get confused, I think, on that. Yeah. Um, yeah. When you when you hear other Christians talk, we sometimes think, oh, whatever I ask, we hear whatever we ask, he'll yeah. he'll give. But it also has to do with his will. But we know that he's there. That much we do. That much we do know. He he cares. He's with us. He doesn't want us to be afraid because right. fear is not from him. That's right. right. And sometimes we do suffer, but it says in the Bible we should glory in our sufferings. That's right. Because That's Jesus true. suffered a lot, and so if you're yeah. suffering, you're yeah. kind of taking part of the glory. So and we all know, though, as humans, mm -hmm. we have to say, forgive us, Jesus, but as humans, that's very hard mm -hmm. when you are going through the midst of it. That's just right. like those disciples. Yes. You know, when they were right there and going through it, they were just going crazy and winging out. That's the way we sometimes do with struggles that we go through until we put our eyes back on mm -hmm. right. Jesus. I find so many times I read about the disciples in the Gospels, I thought, you boneheads. <laughs> Why didn't you get it? And then I realized I'm just as boneheaded yeah. as they yeah. are, that I make the same mistakes. We do. Uh, We're 2,000 years past that, so we can look at it and yeah. think that we would have done something differently, right. but in their situation, we probably would have thought, felt the same thing because we're all human. Exactly. Yeah, we, we throw, point a lot of fingers at Peter, but Peter... He turned out to be great in the it's end. We need to realize that. Yes. All right, Sammy, what's question number three? The third question is, who is this man? Oh. All right, now, Jesus had just calmed the winds mm -hmm. and the waves stopped. You imagine it just happened like that. Uh, I'd like to see Peter's face. I know. I mean, all the disciples like, wow. I bet they felt bad. Like, Jesus, don't you care about us? And after mm -hmm. the storm, storm was calm, do you think? Jesus had this all along, and sometimes uh, we forget that Jesus has got this, that Jesus knows everything. Right. Well, she, just what the question was, who is this man? Mm -hmm. He was man, but he was also God. Right. Mm -hmm. It seems like in that mm -hmm. moment, they had this epiphany of yeah. who he really was. Right. You know, up right. to that point, they thought this is a great man, a yeah. great teacher, and all these things, and then they realized, wow, he, just through his words, can right. calm a storm. Right. He can... Well, and when so much power when he they were they cut they woke him up saying teacher teacher mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so they they didn't look at him so much as right. God as just a teacher mm -hmm. yeah Jesus commands all the elements I think he just walked on water and so yeah. you'd think that they would realize that this is the Son of God but this really showed them that this man right. truly is right. the Son of God mm -hmm. The most important question out of all those is, can he calm your storms today? Children, a lot of times you feel like you have problems and you don't know where to turn. The way you turn to is to Jesus. Always turn to Jesus first. Ask your parents. Uh, there are no dumb questions. The only dumb questions are the ones you don't ask. Right. So you need to make sure you ask questions. Or if you're having problems, uh, pray to God. Ask your parents. Ask your church leaders. We really want to help you. Because uh, we've been where you've been. We've made some of those same mistakes mm -hmm. and we've learned from them. Uh, we hope. <laughs> life, is, life is a good teacher. My daddy always yes. told me life's a good teacher. Mom would not want us to do anything. Dad said, go ahead and do it. Life's a good teacher. You know, we, we learned a lot of lessons the hard way. But uh, as parents, we want our children not to have to go right. through that. But, but sometimes that's necessary. Yes, isn't it? Uh, remember, children, that Jesus will always give you the strength to weather any storm. Now, Miss Simeon works with our children in Bible drills, and my favorite verse in Bible drills is Psalm 56.3. And it says, What time I'm afraid, I will trust in thee. Wow. Good wow. advice there. Yes. Yes. Whenever you are afraid mm -hmm. or scared or need help or you're taking a test or whatever, uh, it's always good to pray to Jesus and make sure that Jesus is close by mm -hmm. and is taking care of you. Now, before we go, let us close in prayer. The Heavenly Father, thank you so much that you are our caregiver. Father, thank you that you listen to us. Father, thank you that you're always near to us. Father, you're with us all the time. Father, again, help us 
Father, keep a hedge around us and keep us safe during this COVID-19 crisis. Father, thank you for our children and Father, bless them as they start school next week. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Goodbye, Bye. kids. Bye. Hope to see you soon. Have fun.